Welcome back to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on Vegas. On that radio.com, the final fucking free, final frontier of free fucking speech. Where you can fuck it up any goddamn way you want. Ain't that right, Toxie? That is right. <laughs> I just sent a message to our friend Stu and said, come to the show and see my sweet cheeks. Or call in. <laughs> well, you gotta let me know if he's gonna actually call in, because I gotta keep an eye on the phone. Because I can't yeah. see it behind my head. So come on, you got some, you're recently single, Jacob. So tell us, you got some good dating stories? Are you back in the, the are you on the market? I, uh, I don't actually. I'm you just, don't? Yeah, are you, but are really you on don't. the market? You know. <clears throat> you're gonna take some time off. I'm gonna Can take some time off. Can we try to set off. you up? Has no, no one has tried to set me up. But, really? but wait a minute, but you're okay with sport fucking. I mean, come on, the bash is coming up. <laughs> you know what's really funny? I've never once hooked up at the... Wait a minute. You're a lion. Oh, come down. Down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, call him out, dear. Call him out. I happen to know for a goddamn fact that's a lion sack of duty. Okay, right maybe there. once or twice. <laughs> oh, shut up. No, seriously. <laughs> He's usually working. He usually doesn't have time. Yeah. No, he works one event. That's it. Okay. There mm-hmm. are and the other is I'm I am working. I'm trying working, to help actually. a brother out. Running That's what around I'm to do. and you know getting drinks for people, helping people, humping people. That too. I mean. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. hey, enough about yeah. me. He's never hooked up. So are you, are you open to a, a blind date hooked up I would friends? love a blind date. I would really? love one, yes. Really? Yeah. Really? Well, I can work that out. <clears throat> Let's do you that. Know, you know, Cocolicious is single. Oh, I love Coco. Oh, yeah. Coco Licious no, is single. He likes another one of your daughters. I know. Because he, <laughs> like, he likes him crazy. Like crazy daughter. You like my crazy daughter. She's like, do I? I'm not going to lie. I do. <laughs> 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 Rachel. Oh, oh. Yeah. The daughter daughter. The daughter daughter. <laughs> the blood daughter. The blood daughter. Seem to be calling Sweet Cheeks mama, huh? <laughs> oh, God. Hey, mom. <laughs> um, yeah. My daughter's got a cute little pudgy figure. She's she's not real big, but she got some. Big Actually, I think I think Coco. <laughs> she got some junk in the truck. And I think Coco would be spot on for him because I have seen you two oh, talk. Oh, I think before. that I think Coco would take you up on an offer. She, I, she yeah, would. we we talk. We have a lot of fun whenever we get together. She doesn't have And, and when I walk in without Coco, he's like, "And where is Coco?" <laughs> Yeah, I do do that, don't I? Yeah, that's true. So I better make sure she's there on the 13th. I better <laughs> tell her that she'll have to be there on the 13th. Oh, I'm, I'm racking my brain for single friends now because I'm totally... I've threatened her a few times, too. I'm like, Coco, I'm going to make out with you one of these times. <laughs> Coco has a little secret side that she's like, you know, looks at girls, you know. Um, her sister is married to a woman. We've had her on the show. Well, and she had a giant crush on a girl for a long right, time. Right, that's what I mean. So she's got definitely some um, mm. girl... Um, we can double team her on uh, the 13th. Tag team. Tag Coco team. Coco right? Coco what happened to the date part? <laughs> That's after. <laughs> he wants oh, to go you out. Want, you want a romance? Are you not uh, a one-stand you know, guy? I, I, I Are you not on. a one-night stand not guy? Not at all. Uh, Shut up, but you've had them. We all have. There was that one time uh, I, I had... Camp? No, 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 no. <laughs> it was a long, I was in college, and we had this date. And she had a baby with her, and we went to. <laughs> that is the best story. <laughs> she left the diapers by that the door awesome. and ran. <laughs> that is the best story. After we love that story. Uh, but you know, if Jacob's out there like one one night standing it, he keeps it on the down low. Like, no, I really don't do that. You really don't. Do no, that? I'm too old for that. No, no you're not. No, I'm not. And I'm older than you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. You too realize, old for like, you look stand. like you could put on a little backpack and go hang out at UNLV. <laughs> like, <laughs> You could. <laughs> that is so funny. That's the cute. gray notwithstanding, because my baby daddy's two years younger than me, and he has more gray than you do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is going to be gone. I because I, I it just this. for a minute. No, I don't, I actually go to a girl, and she does it like does it does it good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're you're yeah. almost Coco, you're almost, Coco's a hairdresser. Is she really? Yeah, she's a hairdresser. Oh, okay. I didn't you're know. You're almost that. 21 Jump Street worthy. Like they could send <laughs> you back to school. <laughs> It'd be college though. It wouldn't be high school. It'd be college. Right. To uh, yeah. to help find yeah, the big, drugs. The big arm tattoo definitely doesn't scream high school, but yeah, totally exactly. college. Yeah. Have you seen the high school students today? I have. They've got a lot of ink and piercings and things. They do. Crazy. And this the other day I was watching um something I think it was 2020 and they were talking about parents are now letting their their daughters get breast augmentation. Yeah, plastic mm-hmm. surgery. Yeah. yeah, isn't that insane? It's crazy. Nose jobs, um, brow lifts, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. ears, ears. 
I just let them be people, for God's sake. I know. Stop turning them into Barbie dolls. Well, and that's because it's the parents. You know, what kid is going to say, you know, I need breast augmentation. Somebody's telling them they need breast augmentation. Yeah. Yeah. I can get the ears, though, because well, sometimes, yeah, they're, they're I mean, it's. Big. Well, I can. It well, yeah, your ears are like yeah. this. When you want to pin your ear, kids' ears back for them. Well, that's different. That's if they want. I mean, yes, it's that I, one yeah, okay. little thing that they want to, and it's not to. It's not like boobs where they're doing it to enhance people mm-hmm. sexually, like yeah. sexually and yes. staring at them and and focusing you know there. I'll get a hair lip and a cleft it's... palate fixed. Yes. The rest of it, you're going to have to learn to live with mm-hmm. because for thousands of years, humans have lived with big ears, and you can too. But if you, you want to get do your something ear... little and simple. Or like having a, you know, a, a scar or a, something removed. That, that that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, those are Some, medical reasons. Yeah, those for, are kind of something scars for a medical whatever. reason. But let me tell you, big ears are not a big deal. Just get over it. Accept the names. Most kids haven't even seen the movie Dumbo anymore, so they won't even be using that term. <laughs> <laughs> my um, my daughters used to stick out really far. She Most of the time, kind of, they grew, she grew into. Yeah, them. she's kind of grown into it. And I used to um, you know, I I could uh, put it back just a little with like a little piece of hair and just kind of you know keep tuck it them. there. And I think maybe it helped. <laughs> oh, she's tucking her hair. I tucked it just a little. Oh, it's a good thing God. you have a nice ass. So I want to talk more about the, uh, the LBGT community. Are we still looking to do something there? Yeah. Okay. I'm Why completely down with that. Why is it coming? He just said it. I think we should do no, it. He, didn't. he never gave a date. Oh. <laughs> she really puts my feet to the fire on these things, I do, don't you? I want, <laughs> the only that's reason. Why you, that's why you need me with the cards saying this is the date you just announced on the radio. And this is the date for this. I tell you what. Um, how about if you will allow me to call in next Sunday, I can give you the date. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got that down on the calendar. You got that? Jacob calls in. Jacob calling in. Are you guys going to be broadcasting at all from? Yes. Okay. Yes. We're going to be broadcasting Thursday EDC. and Saturday. Yeah. EDC and the banquet yeah. night. Thursday right. and Saturday. Okay. We're going to be broadcasting. I have the most epic EDC costume Do ever. you? Is it the same picture that's being used for your badge? Because <laughs> that is an awesome I picture. I love that picture. <laughs> that was fun. That was Halloween. Yeah. Sure it was. Oh, yeah. I love sure, sure it was. I believe it was last Thursday, but we'll go with Halloween. <laughs> so, so do you have like a daisy ring for around your head? I don't want to give too much away, but there's lots of glitter. There's lots of lights. It looks very gay, huh? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> you know what? Toxie, you're going to get turned on because he's going to I, I am already. Very very I'm homosexual. starting to tingle just at the very thought. I, I got to have, I gotta have fun. You know, I got I to gotta go all out. Somebody should come as a disco ball. Oh, that's, oh, that's a good one. Should have said that off air, though. Nah, I'm open for anyone taking my ideas. Why don't you do it? Yeah. Oh, because I'm broadcasting. I'm not going to dress yeah, up. Yeah, that's true. I'm not either. Yeah. So. I might wear my I bunny might, ears. I might, I'm going to wear my tutu. I yeah. That's my I'm soft idea. Does anybody have a spare tutu? Jacob, do you have a spare well, tutu? I, just, <laughs> I have a spare one, but I haven't washed it since I squirted I all over it, so... <laughs> oh yeah, you I can am probably hand so wash. tempted by that. <laughs> you can hand wash her too, too. I did. Okay, so I you just told her it. it didn't. I just the fact that I will know, like if there is a black light anywhere, that I am going it's to true. blow. <laughs> <laughs> you can say it was and intentional, then, and then they'll be pointing and laughing at me. And then no. every time I see somebody looking at me, I'll go, "No, no, it's Sierra's. It's Sierra's." It's, I promise. And they're like, "Why do you have Sierra's come all over your tutu?" <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Because See? we had a good time last night, baby. <laughs> so I have a question for you. Yes. The 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 stain on your tutu. There's no stain. I washed it. <laughs> okay. The prior stain on your yes. tutu. Did it get there the night we wore it for the Half and Bunny party? Or did you put it on later and model it and it became a whole thing? Oh, no. It was Half and Bunny party. Oh, I went okay. all Monica okay. Lewinsky on that thing, didn't She you? did, yeah. <laughs> I kept that shit for good. I remember that night. Uh, oh. <laughs> she did not just do that. <laughs> she said. I'm trying to gross Toxie out. I do it at least once a oh, night. Oh, she grosses Toxie, whether it's something she eats or something she says. Toxie's like... Yeah, the way I eat breakfast completely makes her gag. It is the worst. <laughs> is it, is it runny eggs? No, no, it's not runny eggs. What do you so do? what I normally order is corned beef hash, hash browns, and eggs over medium, very over medium, almost over hard. And I put it all together and I cut it all up, mix she it all together. She it together like a, like a chunky... Vomity <laughs> stew. <laughs> and then I add ketchup and hot sauce. And if I'm in a mood, I add mustard too. And it's so good. And then you and eat this? And then I eat it. And this one, and this one, this one has to go. 
<laughs> we're not allowed to sit next to each other no, at breakfast. Uh, no, no. Yeah. I... Oh, you know what we need to tell Jacob about? The the ad we put on Craigslist. You have to hear this ad. That you, you're going to die. So these two meet with Bree about um, where, you know, about our agreement with her for Well-Rounded. And so they go to Maryland's to eat crabs. So they come up with this great idea that they don't want to crack their own crabs anymore. So for the show that week, we place an ad for somebody to come crack crabs for us. So here's the ad that we play. Are you ready? Yes. Looking for a man to crack crab legs is the title. It's under Strictly Platonic. We are three. Oh, no, this is when we changed it. This isn't the original one. Hold on. I have to get the original one. Because after a few days, Craigslist banned us. No, we put we they banned us once. We put it put back, back up. up. We pulled it down because at some point it got this after a really while. Bad. It was you really bad. Fat fucking whores. What do you think? Asking for people. I mean, it got nasty. You know, I just take downright. It. My little heart yes. was hurting. Yeah. Like <laughs> I could only handle so much. Yeah. And after so many, I'm like, I'm I'm gonna pull and she this does down. A, she does have a cold, dead beating heart. So I mm. do. I I have no romance in my heart, She's a but I'm still a. I'm still a sensitive soul. <laughs> okay. I'm just not a romantic sensitive soul. Okay, so looking for man to crack crab legs. We are three BBW in need of a man to come to dinner with us and crack our crabs. We do not like touching the shell. Plus, we can't shell it fast enough. However, we enjoy an occasional all-you-can-eat crab buffet. Must have clean hands and be willing to crack as many crab legs as possible. This does not involve any type of sex acts. There will be no touching, kissing, or sex of any type. You are purely cracking crabs for our eating pleasure with no favors in return. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> we prefer that you not eat, <laughs> as it will slow down our crab eating process. If you must eat something, we will not pay for the meal. Actually, we are more than willing to allow you to pay for our crab fest if you insist. Picture optional. We prefer someone with a quiet persona so as to not interfere with our crab experience. That's beautiful. Oh, wait, and that didn't make the well, best of? No, Liz? it did not make the best of Craig's. It pay really grossed people out. There were, yeah, there were, were a lot really of people disgusting. Well, got the on one the guy was... that sent back all of the um, SpongeBob references was pretty yeah, Right, we, we had a few. I, I do have that response. Some, some people really flow with it. They were like, this is the funniest post I've right. seen on Craigslist. <laughs> right. Some people replied with humorous replies. Mm -hmm. But they some were like, but some after like a while, you fat fucking slob. Yeah, after a while, it seemed like the good petered out, and then it was nothing but a bunch of dickheads after yeah, that. And yeah. it was just pure, you fat slobs, how dare you? This is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. Girls were writing, guys were writing. I mean, it was. Yeah, then we tried girls. to put one on that said, we are three showgirls. Las Vegas showgirls. Mm -hmm. Craigslist just pulled it down. <laughs> they didn't even let it go out. Yeah, yeah. Twice. Yeah, they're always pulling my ads down, too. I hate when they do that. Oh, yeah, you up there, baby? Young yeah, black yeah, stud, yeah. ready for business. <laughs> oh, you read that cock, one, huh? Pocket, I did. Pocket cock at your service. Pocket cock at your service. There we go. Who needs a vibrator when you've got me? <laughs> it's, it's because of the height, right? It's the short. Yeah. I have no... I, it, you're just... You're one of those people you just want to pull into you and hold compact. on to. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not less that you're compact, although you are short. Um, it's more like, you know how you meet somebody and you just want to hold them in your lap and just hold on to them all night because they're just really awesome and cuddly? Can we see that? You know, any um, ladies right now that are listening who've <laughs> never seen me, they've got this mental image in their head. They're thinking, you're this adorable, he's a fucking troll. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they know that you... Curve like an on ramp. So. <laughs> so we've heard. Do you curve to the left or the right? I have a picture. <laughs> okay. Depends on your. It's on Craigslist. Wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask Sweet Cheeks nice enough, you might be able to see a picture of her asshole. I actually have a bunny rabbit that she pulled from her asshole. Yeah, so there. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Nobody else has a has a bunny rabbit from my asshole. He's right just here. sitting in my closet right now. Yeah. You sniff him every once in a while. No. Oh. no. <laughs> Did you wash him? No. That's so like shaking a, you know, your favorite star's hand and then, you know, you don't wash the hand. I would. You oh, don't wash wow. the bunny rabbit. Wow, this touch sweet cheeks ass. Yeah. Ah. You need to bring it's that rabbit out animal. when we're over broadcasting and okay. give it to Toxie so she can hold on to no. it. No. <laughs> my... I love you. I will not hold on to anything that came out of your ass. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. It could be a beautiful little kitty or, or a puppy or, yeah, a beautiful flower. What about a coach bag? Well. <laughs> how, how about a bag of Doritos? Let's, Let's talk. Get real out of now y'all are talking coach bag and Doritos. I mean, now now you're talking my language. Is it Cool Ranch or just the regular Doritos? Just the regular. Yeah. It used like to be no baked, cheese. but I can never find them anymore. Yeah, I like the Cool Ranch myself. I can dig the Cool Ranch, but uh, you don't I mean, dig the Cool Ranch. You either eat them or you don't. I, I eat them. Okay. I don't purposely pick them out. Right, you're but regular. If okay. they're there, I will. Did you know that nacho down. cheese is not the original Doritos flavor? What, what is? is the original Doritos flavor? Taco. Really? I've had it no. in the old bag. Do they yes. have those anymore? Yeah, but they, they had them out for a little while. type bag. Really? Yeah. Taco was the original Doritos flavor. Okay, read. Um, this is the response. This is we one got. of them. One of the best ones we got. It's, hello, my name is, is Robert Rumbustrium. You can call me Bob. I have served many years faithfully at the Krusty Krab, providing patrons with exactly the service you are requesting. <laughs> my slender and well-manicured hands are perfect for removing the tender meat from those big, meaty claws. I would be honored to be your humble servant for the evening, ensuring that you and your enormous friends... True. <laughs> get more than their money's worth from that all-you-can-eat buffet. I do not need to eat because I can just filter feed while I perform my duties. All I ask is that my mentally handicapped friend Patrick be able to join us for the evening. <laughs> he will not be a bother. I am just afraid to leave him alone for too long. You will like him. He is a real star. <laughs> my boss can be a crab, so I kind of have a personal vendetta against crustaceans. Don't even get me started on that asshole girlfriend-stealing Larry Lobster. So I would love to remove the innards from their lifeless body parts and watch a lovely trio devour them with pleasure. Hope to hear from you soon. And this guy's not been on the show yet. <laughs> <laughs> Did we contact him I back? think I have replied to him back um, at the yeah, time. We but the well, there were a couple had that asked, we asked if they would come on. Right. Oh, really? I found out it was a show. They're like, no, thank you. Yeah, oh. one, but one was like, I don't want to be fodder for your show. I'm like, okay. And he's like, so what do you look like? <laughs> you send me a picture. <laughs> Listen, buddy, either way, you're going to end up being fodder for the show. Right, exactly. Regardless, you, you might as well come on honor. and make a better impression right. for yourself than what we would right. do for you. Funny. We funny. had at one point, I think in the very first one, we had um, send us a picture and then, yeah, someone well, did. Well, no, and he did and I looked, I, I went out with that guy. You years, did? Oh, yeah, years ago. Oh. <laughs> years ago, I had met him off of some dating site and he was a dick and then he calls me, he gets in touch with me like, Four years later, once ago, I said, you went out with me once. I did? Yeah, and you were an asshole, so I'm not going out with you again. And he's the guy that sent a picture. Some yeah. people's I think I've dated every fat lover in Nevada. <laughs> I've given a few parking lot blowjobs to him, too. <laughs> I don't give parking you know, lot blowjobs. You know, somebody had said in chat, and I meant to mention it, I saw it after. Again, semi-public they, uh, fiddling is a lot of fun. Okay, where, where they said a corner HJ is a formal handshake at the bash. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. And it's so true. Uh, how hi, are nice you doing to today? You. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm fine. Great. How are you? <laughs> no, what's really bad is when you when you get up the next day and you go to the pool and you have to ask the person you were with last night, um, what's your first name? <laughs> mm. Personal experience? Been there, done that. Yeah, yeah. Been yeah, there, yeah. done that. Yeah, been there, have, done have that. Have the t shirt. <laughs> yeah, I've been known to be a little bit of a. Bash whore? Yeah. I was there one year and we were sitting at a table and it was a, a big group of girls and um, somebody literally walked up to us and said, Does anybody want to go have sex? Like right now, does anyone want to go fucked? It what? was a dude. He came up and, you know, we're all like, Disgusting, whatever. And then one of the girls we were with said, Yeah, I'll do it. And wow. they you know what? That's I guess... why guys do it because girls yeah, exactly. give in. Right, exactly. I had a guy. Uh, one of my. You know that. what? That <laughs> that is probably such a better approach to them that because there's a lot of women there there to fuck because they don't maybe fuck a lot during the year and that's what the men are for. They save it up. They save, they save it up. up for that one time. Well, you know, I think a lot of them are in, engulfed in their work and their life mm -hmm. and maybe they don't get out to some, some of them don't have BBW clubs. It's not always easy to meet people. That's okay, true. and so a lot of them come to the bash and they have a good time so what kind of hassle does that alleviate if you just walk them and go okay who wants to fuck 
Well, All right, I need my pipes clean. Let's go. No, yeah, that's that's a really great point. But you know, I got asked to dance at one of my first bashes, and I'm like, yeah, let's go dance. He was good looking. I'm like, great. Maybe he's gonna buy me a drink. We'll get something to eat, and then if he's really nice, I'll give him a blowjob. Right? Like this <laughs> is how it was going to progress. We get about thirty seconds into the dance, we're just kind of grooving away, and he's like, hey, uh, so you wanna? You got a room here? And I'm yeah, like, that's no. Always the question. Do you have a room? Do you have a room? I'm like, no. He's like, do you want to go back to my room? I said, for what? And he said, well, you know, to have sex. I'm like, yeah, no. I was hoping you'd buy me a drink. Maybe See, we could go to dinner. Well, I, listen, I was, gonna, I was just going to say, <laughs> how many times I got to apologize for that? <laughs> Son of a. That, is the, that seems to be the standard question at the bash show because do you I've have had a room? the exact same scenario happen several times. So do you have a room? Different guys. I'm going to yeah, get a t-shirt that says that. Do you, you have, have a room? room? Yeah, you should. Yeah. Wear it EDC night. Awesome. <laughs> With little blinky know. lights on it. <laughs> yeah, blinky great. nipple lights. Though. It is. Like, that is the standard bash question. Do you that is what I want to see. Jacob in a tiny little fluffy tutu and blinky nipple pasties. Do you want me to make you a tutu? Could you? Yeah. No, seriously. seriously. And nipple pasties, will you wear them? I'll wear I whatever have, you all make me. I have heart I'll just ditch I have my heart costume. shaped nipple pasties with uh, fridge on them. How can we make them light up? Get some LED lights. Yeah, some yeah, tiny little LEDs. Yeah. So not hard. I had it on my costume for the dance. Will you wear So I'll wear a t shirt, like a tight t shirt, and we can cut the nipple area out. That is even better. And then in the middle, it, it's got to say, um, do you have a room? Yeah. Yes. With blinky heart pasties on his nipples. I'm digging this right now. Yes, I'm a little I do turned a on right now. I'm going to be dressed by this. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. <laughs> what do you need for this? Is it. What do you need for the other nights? <laughs> Daisy Duke night. What are you wearing? What you got? Are you seriously going to wear Daisy Dukes? I would love to see you in Daisy Dukes and <laughs> cowboy lace boots. On them. Lace on them. <laughs> Lace on the edges. No, yeah. you have to be so short with just that the a... pocket hangs out down yes, below. With exactly. just a little bit of butt cleavage at Why the bottom. Why would y'all want me to wear a Daisy Dukes? Because be we've seen your ass and we already know it's adorable. So now you need to produce. Okay, I'm no. Put it on I'm, Daisy I'm Dukes. Good. Come on, if you're gonna wear heart shaped nipple. That's things, different. That's EDC. And... <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's different. Yeah, it's EDC. Yeah. You can do anything you can do at EDC. Anything. So yeah. you can't wear da da Daisy Dukes. You can do anything. I'm not doing Daisy Dukes. Oh, That's not happening. You're disappointing me, Jacob. I'm sorry. Just, I'll let, you know, I'll give you a blowjob. Trying to think. <laughs> you always say that, and you know it, and you never come through. Excuse me, but um, you never, like, cash in on it. Oh, well, you'll be the one coming through. <laughs> <laughs> but um, chink. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be a while, like, like, um... We need to have, like, the crew at the bash because this could get really ugly. Mr. Toxie has already texted me where to go for these glow nipple <laughs> things. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is Mr. Toxie dress dressing up for EDC? I doubt he's dressing up for anything. I don't either. But you know what? I have something at my house I'm supposed to make EDC gear, don't I? Yes. If he does I Daisy Dukes, I'll box. do it. I have it. Oh, Daisy Dukes? I would love Mr. Toxie and some Daisy Dukes. She's given me permission to give her husband a blowjob at the bash. Well, that's very big of you. <laughs> it is, right? It's because well, she don't I have said, to do it. I said less work for me. Okay. <laughs> I asked her if she wanted to watch. She doesn't want to watch. That's because she's sober right now. Yeah, when she's drunk, right. she's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to give her my pom-poms and she's nope. going to be the cheerleader. When she's drunk, you'll be sucking on his cock and she'll be, you know, bobbling his balls or something. Okay, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> Schwank. You want you want to teabag him while I suck his dick? Yeah. Ball oh. bobbling. Mr. Toxie, you tell me if you wouldn't like a, a joint blowjob from your two sister wives. Would you know, you he like just came Toxie a little in his pants. Yeah, she doesn't actually. cook, but I do. You do cook. I do cook. She yeah. doesn't get blowjobs, but I do. But you do. Uh -huh. I don't well, cook or clean, but I do generate income, and I have a nice ass. <laughs> And I have a nice ass, and I'm a gilf. That's and it. I'm a gilf. <laughs> That's all I got, smiling and ass. <laughs> What more do you need? So Nothing. there you go. Those, those are me perfect well. sister wives. Right do you have there. a rabbit somewhere in there? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. Twin rabbits. The next time you go in your closet to look at her rabbit, you're going to see two rabbits there. <laughs> and when you see that second rabbit, you will know that rabbit came from my ass. Oh. So just... And then he's going to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I love bunnies. <laughs> and I cannot lie. <laughs> 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 hey, what do y'all think of the beard I'm trying to grow? Actually, I think it's very, it's very um, Roman. <laughs> very Roman. <laughs> I think it's very. I very... am Jacob. Spartacus. I did go there, didn't I? Spartacus, take your shirt off and be Spartacus. That's Greek, but. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> I actually like it. It's very groomed. It's very nice. Yeah. When If you're going to do the Julius, the Caesar mm-hmm. beard, you really have to keep it trimmed and even. I've do seen guys try to do it where it's done. Oh, I go to the, I've been going to the same guy for the past nine years. Yeah, because it's, it's very... Well, you posted about going to this barber. I go... Like, regularly. How often? Every, every week. Every Saturday or Friday, I go. Nice. Yeah. Now, do you have to trim your, your whiskers between? Oh, yeah. I mean, I shave every day. Right. Okay. Um, but. He only looks he like he's like for just a little over 13. <laughs> <laughs> but he grows facial hair. <laughs> I do. I want you all to know that Jacob is very close to my age. Yeah, I'm 49. Yes, he's very close to my age. I, I wouldn't have guessed. No, yeah. I would not have put you out of your 30s. No, I am. I knew for a fact he was old ass like me. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get yeah. a little? There That'd you go. Back. I totally would have put you in my age bracket. <laughs> well, you can still put me in. A bracket. <laughs> <laughs> my Put pocket. It I'll put All you right, in my y'all, pocket. It's about time for us to take our nine o'clock break. We're going to come back with some catch ups and um, we'll be right back. This is Sierra of the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on VegasAllNetRadio.com. And I would like to take a moment to talk about something serious. I'd like to talk about balls. Every Sunday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., you can listen to me and my co-hosts talk about balls. You can listen to us on VegasAllNetRadio.com, or you can watch us at SinCityBounty.com. We'll talk about balls every Sunday from 7 to 10 p.m. And don't forget, balls. Balls. 